just got the 2019 Mustang off the dyno. It had a couple light modifications. It's got a tune um, with flex fuel. He put a little bit of ethanol in it, just pump ethanol mixed with about a half tank of 93. And then uh, he had a uh, back half exhaust, I believe, and a drop-in filter. Other than that, bone stock 10-speed auto Mustang, and here are the numbers from that. All right, here are the numbers from that. Some good looking poles. Torque is there really low. Um, I think our max horsepower is 469.6 and max torque was 459. Um, those are some great numbers for this 10 speed auto Mustang. Uh, he's using these as a starting point uh, to kind of go from here and more modifications coming. So it'll be exciting to see him bring it back on full E85, actual E85, and I think he's planning a couple other modifications as well. So it'll be cool to compare this to that and see how much of a gain he gets. All right, here's what's been going on in the shop recently. We've had a lot of projects, bigger projects in, kind of keeping us busy with the Corona stuff, kind of slowed things down. So luckily we have these bigger projects to kind of fall back on. We're down making some progress on this thing. Um, the engine ended up just coming out. Um, it's just easier that way than taking off the whole front end. Makes it a lot easier with the room and what we were doing. New cam is already in it. Everything's resealed, torqued, ready to go. Peep through there and see the new cam. He's getting ready to, he's cleaning it up right now. We got the heads back with the new springs in them. Spring pressure's all set. Excited to get this thing back together. Cordell's gonna put in some work. He's got the new lifters in there already that have been soaking in oil. So now the heads go on. What else would we be doing? This thing, um, we were waiting on a bunch of stuff. We finally got some heater lines in. The actual motor, um, we sold them on a oil pressure regulator for the turbo. I think the because it didn't have a regulator, it was over-oiling over that cheap little turbo really badly. Um, so we got a little turbo smart pressure regulator we're waiting on one more line for it um, but we got these lines ran um, ready to go back into the drain um, but we'll need one more line we're waiting on and then this thing will be ready to go but as you can see everything else is back on so it's it'll literally be a clutch and the transmission and she'll be back together this thing is super wrap back obviously but um, Cordell broke this down yesterday. Completely broke it down. And of course, you can guess what we're doing with Subaru head gaskets. So the heads are down there at PMI in Jeff City. I dropped them off as I picked up the Camaro heads. But yeah, this thing's getting time about water pump, all that good jazz too at the same time. Um, cylinders still look in good shape. It doesn't look like we had any ringling failure which is a plus, <clears throat> but yeah.
with Hans's 240. Um, here are the numbers from that. All right, so if we take a look here, um, as you can see, uh, this was, we did about, what, three, six, nine, about 10 or 12 uh, poles of um, dialing in AFRs. Uh, dialing in AFR was probably, yeah, about everything. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, these. Um, we're all dialing in AFR, everything in the 270s and down to 80, all that. Um, we were dialing in the air to fuel ratio up top. Got it dead on the money right at 11.4, 11.5 in boost. Um, and then once we got that, as you can see, started adding some ignition timing. Um, kept it pretty conservative on timing for this motor. Um, he plans to daily drive it, so I didn't want to do anything crazy aggressive. But only on wastegate pressure, we managed to make 322 horsepower and 276 foot-pounds of torque. Um, and here, I'll get some of these out of the way so you can see the curves. But here are the... Um, timing poles just on our own so you can see the actual graph um, behind it like I said 322 276 was the best we saw out of this thing and that is I think we we're at 24 degrees of timing up top uh, AFR is dialed um, and only on wastegate pressure so next plan on the red car is to start turning up the boost but let's go see what the boys have been up to what else getting this thing back together Heads are back on it. Uh, I think he's got most of the upper uh, valve train ready to go. And the cam's in. Uh, he just stabbed in the transmission again. So the transmission is back in it. We're waiting on some torque converter bolts because uh, they are torque to yield, so we gotta replace them. So once those get here, this thing will start getting ready back together and hopefully we'll have it on the dyno next week. All right, we are back here. Got the Camaro ready to go. Motor's all back together. I already got a uh, little tune that I did in it from, for flex fuel. Um, brought off the idle for the cam. Um, DOD delete and a couple other random things that I did in there. Uh, uploaded that. Um, we'll do a little start of it here. All right, go ahead. this Camaro on the dyno. I'm done strapping it down. 2018 Camaro that we had here in the shop for a few things. Uh, we did a flex fuel kit on it, intake on it, long tube headers, full exhaust with high flow cats, uh, Texas Beach Stage 2 cam kit um, with the uh, DOD delete. Um, and the cam is a, I believe a 216. Um, with a 32% uh, additional fuel lobe. Um, but yes, yeah, so anyway, got this thing strapped, um, HP tuners on it. Uh, it's an automatic, uh, one of the new eight speeds. We are not doing any transmission tuning on it. Um, for the newer gen um, TCMs, you have to actually send the TCM off. Uh, the customer didn't want to do that. So we are just gonna do an engine tune. Got the dyno set up, about to get into it. So I didn't film the entire tuning process on this Camaro just because it's a little time consuming on HP tuners with flashing, but here are some of the power poles and some of the good stuff.
we just got off the dyno with that Camaro. Here are the results from that. Locked out all the other runs just so you could see the final. Um, it progressively got here um, as we switched uh, over to ethanol. Um, started on 91 pump gas uh, with our flex fuel um, tune. We were able to add uh, pump uh, E, I'm not sure what it tested at. I should have tested it, but we put pump ethanol in it that was supposed to be E85. Ended up getting an E55 reading from it. Um, so we took uh, some E98, mixed it in, and got to, I believe, E70, right around uh, E70, E75, right in there, about um, as good as you're gonna get from pump. And this is what we made, 528 and 518. Um, if he went actual E85 with it, um, like true E85 out of a VP jug like that, he could probably make a little bit more as well. But this is still really impressive. Um, the torque numbers are insane. That Texas Speed Cam is helping that thing make some serious torque um, down low. 3,000 RPM, it's already making over 400 torque. Very impressive. But yes, so this thing is a monster. Can't wait to get it back to the Our customer. Finishing up, or we are done with this customer's 2018 Camaro. Uh, we did a lot to it um, and it ended up making some impressive numbers on ethanol. So we did a Texas Speed cam in this thing, uh, cam kit. So we did uh, springs and retainers as well. So it uh, was good to go on the valve train. And then uh, we did the DOD delete, uh, long tube headers, full exhaust. Um, it does have high flow cats. Uh, did a flex fuel kit on it as well. And then we did a tune here in house by myself uh, on HP tuners. And we made a grand total of 528 horsepower and 518 torque to the wheels. That is not bad for a stock uh, motor except for the cam. Um, I told him he could have made a little bit more if we ended up doing some head porting and head work. But uh, wanted to stay with the stock heads. So just a cam and some valve train work, exhaust, intake. Oh yeah, we did the intake too. So intake and a uh, tune. And here we are. Let's see this thing fire up. Friday uh, customer just picked up his Camaro was super excited on that it was good to see uh, his reaction from that uh, all our hard work paid off on it but yeah uh, other projects got done this week as well I did kind of a bad job of filming this uh, past week but thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video